anything that goes in its own way. Knowledge. Knowledge also varies from person to person. A person can be uh, knowledge or not. And um, he, uh, sometimes it happens that a person is uh, with full of knowledge but don't know uh, where uh, he or she will uh, use this knowledge. Like this skill and attitude. All these are called human resources. And here, money, land, resolution of house, material promises, social possibilities are called material resources. And these are gotten from our society. We can get money, land from our ancestors, and sometimes we work hard and gain all this. So, all these are called material resources. Now, come to lesson two name, planning, our time, and energy. So first we'll start with time planning. Time is a resource and it is limited. It is true that time is a spacious resource which is limited in our life. So it is important to understand the necessity of time bound planning from early age. From our childhood, we have to give importance in planning time, using time. If time goes, we will not be able to find it. So, we need to be careful from our childhood, from our early age about time. Our elders or our parents can teach our children about this. Now, energy planning. Energy is also an important resource and it varies from person to person. Why energy planning is West as can be control. So uh, like time, energy is also an important resource. Think that you have money, you have land, you have time, but you don't have energy. You can't do anything with all this. So all things are interrelated with each other. You have to use your energy in a specific work. We can't waste our energy in useless work. So that's why we're saying that by proper planning, we can control our energy. So first we'll learn about points to be considered about time planning. First, if we want to save our time, we have to identify daily works. Well, you know, we have so many words in our daily life. So from those words, we have to identify which one is most important, which one we have to do first. So that's why we are saying identify daily words. Then prioritize the important words. So uh, we have so many words. Think when you have to do three work right now or today. So which one you will start from? That's why you have to ensure that which work you have to give importance first. This carefulness about comfort in joint works. While working together with your family members, with your friends, you have to think about the comfort zone. You have to think about others while working in joint. Provision for work time, rest, sleep, and free time. We must have to think about all this also. If we can be able to think up about all this will be able to save our time will be able to do successfully everywhere light work or rest after hard work so if we do so many works we must have to take rest after any hard work so if we maintain all these rules or points we can save our time and now how can we save our energy in any work. For that, we have to think about our daily works and we have to ensure the priority. Priority business daily work. Then, clear understanding of work. We are able to prioritize our daily work. Then, if we don't understand how and which way we have to do the work, will not be successful, so we have to understand the depth of the work. Then we have to start doing the work, distribution of the work. Here we are saying distribution of the work according to age and distribution of the work according to personal choice. So 
uh, age, it varies. Uh, there may be five years child, there may be 15 years child, there may be 30, 80 years person. So we have to distribute the words among the person according to age. And also by distributing the words, we have to think about the personal choices of all persons. Uh, someone is comfortable to this word and someone is uh, comfortable to that word. So we have to distribute according to personal, personal choices of all persons. At last, a specific word. When we we'll do specific word from a lot of words, we will be able to successful will be developed. Because if we do randomly every word, our time and energy will be lost, and at the last, we will not be able to complete our work. So, if you follow all these points and instructions, we will be able to save our time and energy. And in this way, we can use the proper, proper link of all our resources, that means household resources. Students, that's all for today. We have talked about the summary of lesson 1 to from chapter 1. Students, please read the text again and again at home. That's all for today. See you in our next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.